Quite an evening, and to finish it off like that for the fourth year in a row, is it's great, and it's about the team. You know? It is. It's an amazing achievement by KGW and, and, and really our viewers who are part of the team of as well. Um, and it's really fun to beat the Seattle stations. I'll just say it. <laughs> <laughs> what you say it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but it is, it's a big deal. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to everybody here. So, yeah. Yay. We're talking about a big deal. We got one day of big deal heat. Yeah, one, one day of hot weather, and yeah. that's going to cool right back down. But, boy, today sure was spectacular again. Made it into the low 80s. There you go. Sun going on down. This is from our sky cam at the reserve golf course. A little farther west, though, Jim and Karen Young got their camera out, out at Seaside and captured another great image of the green flash. And it's called the flash because it literally only lasts for about a second or two as the sun goes down. The atmospheric optics have to be right to see it, but you can see it. I've seen it. You can see with a naked eye if you get the right conditions. We had it today out of the Oregon coast. 82 is our high today. It's about 10 degrees above average for this date. 50s and 60s on the coast. The Dallas made 93. Easily the hot spot in Oregon this afternoon. There will be more 90s on the map tomorrow, especially west of the Cascades. We're likely going to be the hottest part of the state along with the Dallas. Okay, let's talk about rain because we are on a record dry streak. We have had no rain since the 15th of May. It's the first time in the record books for the Portland Airport that we've gone May 15th to June 5th with zero rain. Second place is 1938. There's only a trace, but this we haven't even had that in that time spell. If you go back a little farther to May 9th, only three hundredths of an inch of rain. Also the driest May 9th to June 5th. I know random time frame period, but on the 8th of May, we had rain, so it started when the dry streak began. There is no rain in the forecast for the next week either, so we will continue with the dry weather for a while. But it wasn't dry everywhere in Oregon. Look at these thunderstorms that popped up over south central. Down around Crater Lake, as much as three quarters of an inch of rain measured by some of the remote weather stations there. And there were some big storms down along I-5 and in Northern California with producing hail and gusty winds. Speaking of winds, they're dying down still northwest at 12 at the airport and up in Scappoose northwest at 12. But the winds are backing off and they're actually going to switch direction, come out of the more out of the north and northeast tomorrow as opposed to the northwest. So the winds are going down, but the temperature is going up to 92 tomorrow. Sunset at 856. Be clear all day long. See the weather systems here in Northern California. Actually, the chance of storms will increase over Southern Oregon tomorrow, maybe even more west of I-5, west of the Cascade Crest. But that's for Southern Oregon. Northern Oregon, we're in between low pressure to the south and then another one that's moving up way north, up into the, uh, the northwest territories of Canada. So we're on kind of in the in-between, basically, which is leaving us with dry and very warm weather. As you know, we're going to be in the 90s tomorrow. Storms again, Southern Oregon. And then on Wednesday, we begin to see the marine layer amass at the coast that'll push inland and begin to cool us off. Still upper 80s on Wednesday, but after the hot weather tomorrow, that'll feel a little better and then cooler at the end of the week. Still low, no rain in the forecast through the upcoming weekend. It is 68 right now, freezing level 13,300 feet. All right, then on the coast, mostly sunny and warmer, 74 at Astoria, 70 in Pacific City. As we go to the valleys, also sunny and warm in the low 90s here. Lows, though, dropping down to about 50, so nice and cool overnight, which really helps to, you know, ease into the heat as the day wears on. Cascades will be sunny and northeast winds, 64 at Government Camp tomorrow. Storm south of Mount Jefferson or Three Sisters, and again, in southern Oregon. And for the gorge, we've got east winds tomorrow, the reverse of today. Windy for the west side of the gorge, 94 up at Cascade Locks for Portland. Sunny and hot tomorrow, up to 92 degrees, but it's a one-day foray into the 90s, down to 88 on Wednesday, 84 Thursday, and then 70s for Friday and the weekend. You know, two sunny weekends in the row with highs in the 70s. That's good living. It's bliss. Yeah, it really is. Thanks, Pat. Still to come, call it happy hour with music.